If you caught my last video, you'll be aware already that I decided to take on a project even bigger and more complicated and scarier than the last one. And if you didn't, I'm building a boat from scratch. This project is most definitely going to test my skills. I truly don't know if I'm actually even capable of doing this, and sometimes thinking about it makes me want to throw up a little bit. But one major thing that this build has on the bus build is that this one came with plans, like actual plans made by an actual skilled, talented, experienced builder, which hopefully means less guesswork and head scratching for me all around, not to mention better results. As you can probably tell, I just moved in and I just piled everything in here. No organization whatsoever. I have actually never had my own workspace before. When I was building the bus, I was working and keeping all my stuff mostly just in the bus at first. And then I was mooching off my sister's garage when I was staying in her driveway. But this is the first workspace I've ever had that's actually just all mine, which means that as sad as this little garage is, I'm really excited to have it. And I want to make it very organized and efficient and just make it work for me. Obviously that is not where we're at right now. And actually, I don't even think I'm gonna get to that very soon because believe it or not, there are more pressing items on the agenda. Like I said, one big benefit of the boat build compared to the bus build is that I have these lovely detailed plans. But one downside is that this new build is going to sit on water which means that the materials that I need are much more expensive and hard to get. Also, if I mess this up too badly, my house will sink. That's another downside, but I'm trying not to dwell on that possibility too much. The first step of this project is to build the hull, which if you somehow know even less about boats than I do, that's the part that floats. This goes without saying, but just as usual, please don't trust any information you get from me. I am not a credible source. So to build the hull, I need to cut pieces of wood to build a frame, and then I need plywood, which will later be fiberglass, to go on the frame. But then actually building the hole is not the first step, because the plywood that I need to use is marine grade plywood, which, unless I've really missed something, you cannot just go pick up off the shelf at Home Depot anytime you please. So getting the materials I need to get started is going to be a step in itself. I think I'm gonna have to go to a lumber yard and I also think I might have to place like a special order because I need two different thicknesses, one of which nobody seems to stock and I need a lot of it. And I think this just highlights really well one of the less obvious ways that this build is gonna be challenging for me because I'm, I wouldn't even say that I'm on day one of the build. I've yet to make a single purchase or pick up a single tool. And already I'm realizing that the method I used with the bus where I would buy and figure out and decide on things as I got to them and just like made 10 to 15 trips to the store in one day. That's not gonna work this time around, at least not if I want to spend less than like eight years of my life working on this. So my first priority before even organizing my workspace is to go through these plans, figure out every single product I'm going to need to build this hole, and then find out where to get it and get it. So that once I'm ready to start building, I'm actually ready to start building. No more shortcuts, no being lazy this time. That's the motto of this build. Let's see if I stick to it. Ah, it's from when I was planning the bus. October 15th, spray foam, question mark, question mark. Feels like a million years ago. Did a bunch of studying, a bunch of calling around, and I think I found a place where I can get some of the plywood that I need. Not all of it because they don't, they don't have enough. Most of the plywood that I need in the beginning is the weirder measurement, the 3 8 inch. Nobody has it. Or I found a couple places that have it, but they only have like a couple of sheets of it. I also won't be able to get all of it because the stuff that they have at the place where I'm headed, the guy on the phone told me that it's not like nice enough to be um, stained. It's, you need to paint it, which is fine because I was planning on painting the entire hole anyway, but I'll have to find somewhere else to get more of it because some of it is going to be stained, so. Got it! 
Okay, I'm so happy because actually they had plenty. I didn't even buy everything they had because I don't, I'm not sure. I don't know. <laughs> Because it's expensive, obviously. Um, but it seems like they had enough for everything that I need, actually, for the whole project. And, I don't know, maybe I just have bad taste, but I thought it was perfectly pretty looking wood. So, I might not have to go anywhere else, which is great because, first of all, it's way more affordable here. And second of all, I'm scared of going to lumber places. That's why I always go to Home Depot. Even though you guys told me even when I was building the bus that it's better to go to a lumber yard. It's too scary. I don't, I know that is absurd, but I just don't know how everything works. Like, it's crazy that, that what you're supposed to do is just walk into this warehouse full of guys zipping around on forklifts doing like literal donuts. I'm not kidding you. This guy was like skidding around corners. <laughs> the construction space is an intimidating space for me already. So I like to go places like Home Depot where at least the procedure is familiar. I know that's silly and I think I'm probably gonna have to get over that on this build, but. Okay, so I stand correct on everything I said before. It turns out you can just go pick up marine plywood whenever you want. They said they only had a few of the 3 8 I wonder if a few to them means like 20. I don't know. Either way, I'm glad it's done. And I'm glad I didn't get all of it at once because that was quite the workout. Do I just have bad taste in wood? Or do they look nice enough to be stained? For the most part, at least. Listen, I know it probably seems like I'm just stalling and procrastinating, not getting any actual building done here. But I would just like to point out the fact that I have spent $500 today on my boat project. I just went and got all that plywood and I just ordered a router. And I've yet to buy a single piece of furniture for this empty house that I live in. I did buy this mug. So I got my priorities. This build is gonna happen. By the way, I was so surprised by the number of comments I got on my last video about, I got several saying something along the lines of, this is awesome, you're not scared of anything. And thank you so much, that's so nice. But I just think it's important that I be clear about one thing. I am afraid of everything, including this boat project. Uh, it makes me wanna pee my pants. I'm terrified. I mean, I'm still gonna do it, obviously, but I just don't want anyone out there thinking I'm just brave and not scared of anything because I am in fact scared of most things. Like we just talked about, I'm scared of going to a lumber yard. Anyway, I've got my plywood, I've ordered a router. What else do I need? Where did my list go? All right, I'm gonna try to get my hands on this stuff and then I guess maybe then I'll be ready to get to work. I shouldn't have been so excited when I got back from the lumber store yesterday because all I got was the plywood. I didn't even get the stuff I need for the 
framing. I'm not 100% sure what I exactly need for that, actually. But anyway, small victory is still a victory, I guess. This right here is the piece of plywood that is going to become a bulkhead and also the template for all the other bulkheads. I need, I think, six of these, all the exact same shape. I'm not gonna be able to do all of them right now because I don't have my router yet and that's how you're supposed to do these is to do the first one really carefully and then copy the rest out with the router. So before I can do that, I still need to get my router and learn how to use a router. But in the meantime, since this is the only part I can actually get to today anyway, I thought this would be a good opportunity to try to take my time with this one, cut it out very carefully, try to do a really good job if I can. Not if I can, I have to. bulkhead it is freezing over here i need to move into the sun okay so if i can try to explain this this is my template i think i did a pretty good job although i did mess it up a little bit right here but i think i can fix it and then i need to cut her cut another notch but this is basically the template as you can imagine the bottom part of the boat is kind of going to be slanted and then flat on the bottom and then slanted and this is one of the sides so when i eventually make a, the full width bulkheads It'll be like one of these here, one of these here, plus some more flat in the middle, if that makes sense. These are gonna go in the center of the boat. They're not the full width because right here will be the, the center aisle of the boat that you walk through, I think. Hopefully that makes sense. So I need five more of these because they're gonna go like chunk, 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 and then three over here. Can you see me? It probably isn't making any sense, but I need five more of these exactly like this once it's fixed. But I feel good about how careful I was about that. I cut out one square and then I didn't feel good about how square it was, so I redid it more carefully. And then I cut out these notches very carefully. I sanded the edges so it would be exactly on the line. The only issue is this part, but I do think I can fix this. So, and then in a couple of days when the router gets here, then I think things will really start moving. This is an exciting surprise because this wasn't supposed to be here for another day or two. Also, it's Sunday. I didn't even know anybody delivers stuff on Sundays. <gasps> Good news and bad news. I popped open my router last night and realized that I may have gone way overboard. This is way bigger than I expected it to be. I did very little research on this before I bought it, which is unusual for me. I usually like to research the crap out of a big purchase before I go for it. I didn't this time. I just was like, I gotta get this done. And this is not what I was expecting. I thought it was gonna be one of those little handheld ones, which I think is actually what I need. I'm gonna return this and order the one I actually wanted, which means I can't get the pieces all cut out right now, but I don't think it'll delay me too badly. The good news though, When I said the other day that I had yet to make a single purchase for the boat, it's because I forgot that I had ordered this. I placed a bid on eBay a couple weeks ago, not actually thinking I would get this. Isn't this cool? I think I can use it. I'm gonna try to anyway. I don't know. It seems like a real thing and not a decoration, we'll see. In the meantime, Maybe that'll help keep me motivated. I did manage to fix the template that I messed up. I just need to cut out one more notch from that and then get my new router and then I can cut out all the rest of them. So I'm gonna save that for next time. Hopefully before you guys see me again, I will have organized my tools a little bit so that I can find things when I need them. And yeah, I'm ready to really get moving on this. I'm excited. I don't feel scared right now. Okay, see you guys then. Bye.